Teresa Lewis will be the first woman executed by the state of Virginia since 1912. Many have questioned how the two gunmen involved in the case received life sentences, yet she received a death sentence. And her IQ of 72 puts her only two points above what the Supreme Court might consider mental retardation, which would bar her execution. By a vote of 7-2 to two on Tuesday night, the United States Supreme Court rejected Teresa Lewis's request for a stay of execution, and thus her last hope for life. The governor of Virginia has the power to commute Lewis's sentence up until the final moment, but Republican Bob McDonnell has already announced that he will not step in. Death penalty opponents claim the governor's decision was highly influenced by politics. Politicians take a stand and then, even in the face of, of what should be compelling evidence for clemency, feel that they have to, you know, stick with that. That's their image, and they, they don't want to back away from it. it, it, it it's not viewed in, in the rational sense. I think you have to view it in the political light. After her fate was sealed, Lewis repeated her remorse and apologized to the victim's daughter. Knowing that I was part of it, of taking her family away and my participation in it, I don't, I don't think it's enough words to even begin to tell her how sorry I am. And in her final hours, Lewis is taking comfort in her strong faith. If I have to go home and be with Jesus, I know that that's going to be the best thing. A candlelight vigil will be held Thursday evening outside the jail in Jarrett, Virginia, while inside, prison officials will oversee the final moments of Teresa Lewis's life. Josh Rushing, Al Jazeera, Washington.